November is Native American Heritage Month, and joining us now to discuss is Sherea Souza with the American Indian Cultural District. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. You're the executive uh, per, executive director of this organization, and you've been with it since the beginning. A lot of hard work has gone into it. Tell our viewers what you guys do. So the American Indian Cultural District is the first cultural district in the United States of its size and kind. There is a cultural corridor uh, in Minneapolis. And really, our, our home base is in the Mission District, uh, District 8, District 9, <laughs> for folks that don't speak the lingo, uh, Supervisor Ronan, Supervisor Mandelman's district in the Mission. And uh, really what we are there to do is to, we're here to promote the voices of American Indians to bring in equitable resources and really build out a home base for visibility so that all 500 nations across the United States can come to San Francisco and really see it as that Mecca, that place, you know, a lot of people know about the occupation of Alcatraz and the big movements that that sparked across, you know, Indian country. And so we really want to create that visibility and that home place for Native people. That's such important work. What does Native American Heritage Month mean to you and your organization? For me personally, Native American Heritage Month is really, it's that moment of visibility, you know, that we should have every day, <laughs> all year, year round. You know, um, Native American Heritage Month was actually started as Native American Heritage Day back in the 1900s. Then, you know, in uh, 1986, they actually did Native American Heritage Week. And then, you know, um, in 1990, it became Native American Heritage Month. And so for us here in San Francisco, it's really at least, you know, for our organization, an opportunity to really honor the, you know, culture contributions and and the strong, you know, history that we have here as, as first peoples on Romatush Ohlone land. Yes, yeah, so American Indian Cultural District, you guys started this in 2020. So what have you guys been able to do in two years? I know you've been busy. Wow, that's a, that's a great <laughs> question. You know, unfortunately, yes, we started our, our first, you know, Board of Supervisors meeting was right in the middle of the pandemic. We had like 30 people on the line to call in and they didn't even know how to use it at that point. They're like, no comments. And we're like, what? And they're like, sorry, this is our first Board of Supervisors meeting. So it was no easy, you know, feat trying to get that established in the height of the pandemic. Sure. Um, but some of the really amazing things that we've done is when we first came in, you know, American Indians were 0.2% of the population or so the city thought. So we've actually done a lot of really great research and come up with the fact that American Indians are 2.1% of the population, over 17,000 people um, in San Francisco. And so we've also worked on stuff like the housing element. You can see American Indians mentioned on over 156 times. The Climate Action Plan, talking about, you know, uh, tribal consultation and consultation with urban Indians and incorporating traditional ecological knowledge. There are things in the city that don't exist at the state and federal level that we've done. Two other things we're really proud of. Uh, last year we helped establish a resolution with Supervisor Ronan's office for Native American Heritage Month. Um, we great. also recently worked with Supervisor Melgar's office to establish a Truth and Healing Reparations Advisory Committee um, that's going a resolution for it, working on the ordinance. It's going to be sitting under the Human Rights Commission and um, it's actually following a 2000 eight uh, discrimination by omission human rights commission report of over 150 natives locally who came together and said we need a voice we need representation we need visibility because unfortunately a lot of those findings on that human rights commission report are still ongoing today so we're really excited to create a lot of this tangible change and elevate the voices of those that have been here to really build out the cultural district so many hurdles you guys overcome and yeah. now you're doing such important work i want to talk about an event you have coming up in december December, very important. Yes. Tell us about that. Yes. So uh, we're actually working with the U.S. Uh, Northern District Court of Appeals, if I'm saying this correctly, mm -hmm. um, on, you know, we're going to talk about our project that we're doing locally, which is mapping genocide. But they're actually looking, I think it's called the War of Extermination against American Indians. And they're really looking at the legislation that's happened over time um, and just just addressing it. You know, we talk a lot about truth and healing. And in order for there to be healing, we need to have an honest conversation about the truth. So we're going to be sitting on the panel with a lot of really great, uh, the author, Ben Madley, who did, Cal um, sorry, American Indian Genocide, and uh, Judge Abby, who's an amazing attorney, to really speak on the legislation and what the Cultural District will be bringing in is our local genocide mapping project, which is part of a bigger indigenized project. And we're going to be sharing ways that we've mapped out the streets in San Francisco. Over 36 streets are honoring those who have committed genocide against American Indians. And we also looked at the Civic, Civic Monuments Morals collection by the San Francisco Arts Commission and identified at least 10 statues that are directly contributed to those who have committed genocide against American Indians and really partnering with the community to go out and um, elevate 
what they want to see in those places. So that's what we're talking about is more of the tangible, not the, not the sort of legal aspect of it, but the hands-on, what can we do to sort of change these things. Right. Thank you so much. So much important work doing by Sherea Souza with the American Indian Cultural District right here in San Francisco. We really appreciate you coming on. We'll be right back. Thank you.